Hey, so today Meridia has just exploded due to our relentless efforts in pushing forward and dropping the Dark Fluid into the planet's crust. We'll discuss the details surrounding this event as well as the new major order. Additionally, we'll cover a Dark Fluid glitch that proved to be quite useful, and we'll finish up by talking about some major game-breaking bugs involving missions not appearing as they used to, and, and so much more. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like by tapping the thumbs up button below the video. Alrighty, as you just saw from the beginning, I got the emergency signal. It sent me straight back to Super Earth. Then at that point, checked out the Galactic War map. And you can tell that this right here, Meridia, has turned from yellow to purple, which is now a huge black hole. Now before I show you guys the black hole, I do want to go over the new message, and it can be found right here, and it says, The super colony has been destroyed. In its place, a beautiful black hole remains, drawn in every terminate spore within several billion kilometers. Interstellar spore levels have already sharply decreased in every system. The destruction of Meridia came not a moment too soon, while the terminates continued their rapid spread across the galaxy without accelerating the effect of the super colony. Contaminants is now once again possible. Containment is now once again possible. The Moradash research facility has been decommissioned following the total exhaustion of all dark fluid stores. The tireless scientists who contributed to the Moradash project have been awarded the Super Citizen Medal of Freedom. The front galaxy of the Terminates has stabilized, but the war is far from over. We must continue the fight to contain the Terminates and redirect our efforts to finally reclaim the territory stolen by the automatons. Congratulations is in order. The Helldivers won a historic victory for managed democracy today. And boom, there it is. This is a great victory. This is actually really going to lead to something intense. And like I said, guys, I guarantee you that black hole is going to bring something from the other side to our side. But you guys can give me your opinions about it. What we'll do now is cover the glitch that I used recently. And I should have uploaded this, but I just didn't figure it out till the very last second. So what you need to do is throw down the tectonic drill and place that sucker right on top of something like this. This way, it's actually going to be risen up on top, and you can just let the bugs kind of attack it, but they're not going to be able to reach it except for the smaller bugs. And you're going to see a great example of this right here. Sure, by the way, I know that this is kind of late, but I thought I would share this with you guys so that the next time we're given the chance to blow up a planet, we can use this method right here. Anyways, now that we have the object or the tectonic drill elevated here, we're going to go to the top here. We'll just simply throw that inside and you'll just let the drill do its thing. Now right here, you can tell that things are going pretty good, except for the fact that the drill is on fire. If you guys use something like, a, I don't know, a non-incendiary weapon or a non-plasma weapon, that would be great for this, possibly a scorcher. But this is what really messed up the whole entire glitch is because I started using the shotgun. But for the most part, I can complete this mission just by using this method right here. Now, there is a negative to using this glitch because there is a good chance that the Biotines can pop up, throw their long-range attacks at it, or they can simply stomp the uh, tectonic drill. But if I were to take out the Baltines fast, I could simply do this solo. So that right there in itself was pretty nice. And again, guys, I apologize for not uploading this a lot sooner. And it's just, it's kind of crappy to upload it afterwards. But I thought I would show you just in case we have another planet we can blow up. And hopefully that's Hellmire. Next, we're going to talk about some big changes that happened during the Major Order. If you guys missed out on this, I'll go ahead and read this right now because we did receive a strategic update. So right here on this image right here, you can see that it says strategic and then down below, this is what it says. We have detected a decrease in terminate spawning on the super colony. Moradesh scientists have identified this as evidence early dark fluid accretion stages. Micro bubbles have begun to form beneath the planet's crust, disrupting terminate hives. Tectonic integrity has begun to decrease. The future of the Liberty teeters at the abyss. These are the critical hours. One final push is all that remains. And this right here, I'm pretty sure is what helped out quite a lot with the major order because prior we were having quite a difficult time. Not to mention the respawn bug, and then you also have the issues with the regen rate. So at some point, they might have made things a bit easier. We're now going to move along because we just checked out the strategic update, but there is something interesting going on with the effects and the arsenal augmentation. So if we take a look at the effects here, it does say the Eagle Napalm Airstrike, which there's nothing wrong there. But if we check out this other one here for the arsenal augmentation, 
Then right here on the bottom, it says Napalm Orbital Strikes. So at some point, are we going to see this? Is there actually going to be an orbital strike for napalms? Uh, or is this just a typo, a mistake? Let me know what you think about this. Would you like to see some sort of orbital strike napalm so that it surrounds a radius instead of like a straight line? Hmm, that right there is something I would like to see. I'd rather see a large radius explosion of napalm instead of a straight line. But nonetheless, let me know your thoughts down below. And last but not least, let's talk about a huge bug going around with missions. So. Currently, if you're on Meridia, or if you have experienced this on other planets, well, you may have noticed that there's not a third mission, and that right there is annoying. I've had it happen to myself, and so has this user right here named Lost Cursor. Right here, he states, I couldn't complete my operation because High Command forgot to assign us a third mission. And as you can tell in the middle, there's not a third mission. This right here can be quite annoying because if you have already completed two missions, you most likely want to complete the third one so you can grab some additional medals. Overall, this bug right here does suck. I'm not too sure what triggers it, what causes it to happen. Yet overall, it's an annoying bug. Nonetheless, it's annoying. So if you have experienced it or if you have experienced something a bit worse in the newest mission, let me know down below. And the last and final bug that was posted here that's well worth talking about is the mission failed bug right here this username honest underscore hovercraft 278 over at helldivers reddit said meridian mission bug i don't know if anyone else is having this problem or if me and my boys are doing something wrong but we keep failing dark fluid missions on meridia we complete the objectives get the notice to move on move to extraction then upon getting xp the screen will say we failed the mission because we didn't complete the objective we're not timing out we have drills successfully finished their cycle and it grays out. If anyone has any advice, I'd appreciate it. All right, with this right here, this is a bug. For some reason, they've coded it into the system, I guess, to where even though you have successfully completed it, there's still an objective there that you have not done. So overall, it gives you the failed screen and that maybe at some point they will resolve that one in the future you know the next time we're given the chance to blow up a planet and hopefully that's sometime soon that's probably why it would be a great option Alrighty, with all the information being said this is your hell divers 2 news if you guys would like to be featured in the next video comment down below the first comment comes from this username crimson creed 3889 this person says i don't want new weapons we just want the old ones fixed and all new missions not to be buggy f sakes Second comment here is by Crux Crusher 8102 This user says, They still need something for higher leveled players to work towards. Legit have nothing to unlock anymore. And the third and final comment here is by MoodyMan90, and this person says, You'd think there would be a blanket, don't spawn within X meters of objective, code baked into the game already. And there's your top three comments from the previous video. If you guys would like to speak your voice on the channel, comment down below. Thank you guys so much for the support and I will see you guys in the next video.